Hey y'all, short and sweet video for you today. I just wanted to show you some lighting upgrades that I've been working on here lately. Uh, get your thoughts on it, so let's go check it out. So the lighting that I've been working on is this curtain lighting right here. So I'm gonna throw up an example of our live stream here lately. Um, that curtain is just looking like a black hole, especially in the message when it's uh, cropped in and when it's cropped out. Uh, I really wanted something to kind of spice up that black curtain under the screen for the close shot and then also add some visual interest to the curtain in the wide shot as well. So what I did is I ordered some of these, oops, sorry, hit a chair, ordered some of these American DJ uh, UB9H bars. Um, I ordered seven of them because I am apparently not that great at math, so don't know how I got an A in math uh, in school. Uh, but I only needed eight of them to cover the entire stage. I might have to get one more and then take that extra one that I have and put them up in the ceiling just to fill in the darker spaces up top because honestly on camera right now it looks brighter up there than it actually is in person. Uh, I still need to adjust where these lights are sitting at. So there you can kind of see them. Uh, they were shining on the front of the screen, which you can't see right now, obviously, because it's turned on, but when it was turned off, you could see the wash on the screen. So I still need to adjust them as far as how I'm fastening them. Um, I'm probably just going to uh, drill some screws into their little feet there, right down into the stage. Just some small screws to keep them from moving around. I originally wanted to bolt them onto the back lip of the stage platform, but that wasn't working out because the light ended up being way too close to the curtain and it just wasn't an even wash, which is a bummer because, you know, they would have been hidden and not visible. Um, but I'll have to get some gaffer tape to cover up the stickers that are on them. Other than that, I think it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go do some adjusting to them and then I'll show you what it looks like after I do that. So I just did a little bit of fine tuning to the right side here to get it off the screen. Um, as you can see, it's not washing it all the way up the curtain as much as it should. Um, it's also not hitting the ceiling as much though, which I hate when all my wiring is exposed up there, so annoying. I'm gonna have to get up there and cable manage a little bit better, I suppose. But I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can make that wash the curtain a little bit better without hitting the screen. So let's see if I can improve that. All right, I think I got it looking pretty good. There's currently no wash on the screen. As you can see over here on the right side of the screen, uh, up top, it's a little bit darker than over on the left. And that's because we have a table stored behind the curtain here. Um, and it's making the curtain jut out a little bit closer to the light in that specific area which is probably shadowing up there so i'm gonna have to do a little bit of rearranging but i think i can make that look better i'm pretty happy with that let me know what your thoughts are in the comments but let me go ahead and turn the live stream camera on and give you an example of what it would look like on a sunday it seems almost as if the camera has a hard time picking up that red all the way at the top of the curtain um so I guess less saturated, less noticeable colors probably won't be picked up as well. But that's all I got for you. Just wanted to kind of show you what I've been working on. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments if you have any ideas on how I can make it look better. Um, that's it for this video. Be sure to like it if you enjoyed it and uh, subscribe to see future videos. We got some cool stuff coming out. So we'll see you next time.